The International Petroleum Investment Company was established by the government of Abu Dhabi pursuant to an Amiri decree in 1984 with a mandate to invest globally in energy and energy-related industries. The government owns 100% of IPIC and appoints all the members of its board of directors. Over its history, IPIC has been supported by equity contributions from the government of Abu Dhabi. The chairman of IPIC's board of directors is Sheikh Mansur bin Zayed Al Nahyan, a member of the ruling family of Abu Dhabi, the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates (UAE), and the UAE Minister of Presidential Affairs. The managing director of IPIC is Sahail Al Masrué. Topic description. IPIC is a long-term strategic investor and it holds more than 18 investments in over 10 countries and on five different continents. Its investment portfolio includes One wholly owned operating company, being Nova Chemicals, a leading North American plastics and chemicals company based in Canada, Two majority-owned operating companies, being Borealis, one of the world's largest polyolefin producers and Abar, a diversified investment company, and Minority stakes in Cosmo Oil, a leading Japanese refining and marketing company and OMV, a leading Austrian integrated oil and gas company with a presence throughout Central and Eastern Europe. In addition, IPIC is undertaking the following strategic projects. The multi-billion dollar Chemawayat project at Medinat Chemawayat al-Garbia, which is expected to comprise a series of world-class petrochemicals complexes with access to Abu Dhabi's gas and liquid petroleum feedstocks. The first phase of this project is expected to be completed in 2015 and it is expected to be the world's largest single-site petrochemicals facility, comprising an aromatics complex, including a naphtha reformer, paraxylene and benzene units. ADCOP, a 400 km pipeline project which connects Abu Dhabi's key onshore oil fields to an export terminal located in the Emirate of Fujairah on the Indian Ocean outside the Persian Gulf. The pipeline is intended to help mitigate the risk of a suspension of Abu Dhabi's crude oil exports in the event of a closure of, or a disruption to, the Strait of Hormuz and is expected to provide increased capacity in the export of Abu Dhabi's crude oil. The pipeline became operational in June 2012 with a capacity of 1.5 million barrels per day. IPIC intends to gradually raise the pipeline's capacity to 1.8 million barrels per day. The continuing expansion of the Boruj project, a joint venture in which IPIC's subsidiary Borealis has a 40.0% stake, to bring advanced technology and expertise into Abu Dhabi to strengthen and develop Abu Dhabi's industrial base and hydrocarbon and petrochemicals industries. The multi-billion dollar Fujairah refinery project in the Emirate of Fujairah, which will process UAE crude oil, such as Merban and Upper Zakam. The Emirates liquefied natural gas project, ELNG, a 50-50 joint venture with Mubadala Oil and Gas, a business unit of Mubadala, involving the development of a new LNG regasification facility on the UAE's east coast in Fujairah, and the Duke Refinery and Petrochemicals Project the Duke Refinery a 50-50 joint venture with Oman Oil Company SAOC, involving the development of a new oil refinery situated on Oman's east coast in Duke. Topic company history Principal events during IPIC's history include, 1984 The government established IPIC pursuant to Amiri Decree No. 3 of 1984. 
Ownership of IPIC was initially divided equally between IDEA and ADNOC, each wholly owned by the government. 1986 – The government assumed direct and full ownership of IPIC pursuant to Amiri Decree No. 2 of 1986. 1988 – IPIC made its first investment by acquiring an initial 9.6% stake now 100% in SEPSA. 1994 – Sheikh Mansur bin Zayed al Nahyan became chairman of IPIC. IPIC acquired a 19.6% stake now 24.9% in OMV. 1995 ADNOC, at the direction of the government, contributed to IPIC its shareholdings in Parco, a Pakistan-based oil refinery and pipeline company, SUMED, a joint venture that operates pipelines running across Egypt from the Gulf of Suez to the Mediterranean Sea, and Pak Arab Fertilizers Limited. 1998 IPIC acquired a 25.0% stake in Borealis now 64.0%. 1999 IPIC acquired a 50.0% stake in Hyundai Oil Bank increased to 70.0% prior to Disposal, a leading oil refining and marketing company in South Korea. 2004 IPIC acquired a 30.0% stake in GEM, a leading commercial product tanker company in the Middle East. 2006 The government approved the construction of ADCOP by IPIC. 2007 Qadim Abdullah al Qubaisi, a former senior executive at Adia, who joined IPIC in 2000, became IPIC's managing director. IPIC acquired a 20.8% stake in Cosmo Oil. 2008 Chemawayat was established by Amiri Decree on 26 November 2008, with three government-owned shareholders, being IPIC the Council and ADNOC IPIC acquired a 4.1% stake in EDP, Portugal's leading electricity company. 2009 IPIC acquired 100% of Nova Chemicals. IPIC acquired a 71.2% stake now 95.3% in ABAR. IPIC subscribed for the IPBC bond which at maturity and in certain other circumstances, is exchangeable into an approximately 14.8% stake in Oil Search, a company engaged in the exploration, production, development and sale of gas and liquid hydrocarbons in the Asia-Pacific and MENA regions. IPIC acquired certain financial instruments in Barclays for a total consideration of approximately $5 billion in 2008, which were disposed of in 2009 for proceeds of $7.1 billion. IPIC received its inaugural ratings from Fitch, Moody's and S&P. 2010 IPIC sold its investment in Hyundai Oil Bank for net proceeds of approximately 2,314 billion Korean won $1,950 million. IPIC established the program. 2011 IPIC fulfilled its commitment to subscribe for the remaining mandatory convertible bonds in ABAR and converted those bonds into equity, increasing its stake from 86.2% to 93.1%. In addition, IPIC purchased shares of ABAR in the open market, which further increased its stake from 93.1% to 95.3%, now 95.47%. In addition, IPIC purchased shares of ABAR in the open market, which further increased its stake from 93.1% to 95.3%, now 95.47%. IPIC increased its stake in SEPSA to 100%. IPIC increased its stake in SEPSA to 100%. IPIC increased its stake in OMV to 24.9%. 
2012 IPIC agreed to re-transfer and MAN SE agreed to purchase IPIC's 70.0% share in Ferrostal AG for £350 million. IPIC takes a 50-50 stake along with Mubadala in Emirates LNG 2016 in June they announced that they would be merging with Mubadala Development Company. IPIC acquires the remaining 50% stake in ELNG making it the sole owner of the company. <laughs> <laughs> 